Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, ballooning in Autodesk Inventor today. And some of the things you may or may not be aware of is when creating balloons, uh, it basically goes by a, a parts list or what you have. If you have it a parts list associated to the view, that's when you define whether it's um, structured or not structured. Um, so you can see in this point, it'll give me uh, what I, how I want to show my bomb view. If I go ahead and select that view and just place a parts list, uh, I can do that. And then when I go select a balloon, it doesn't prompt me for anything. It just asks me to do the balloon. Quickly going back, if I just do that uh, in a manual process and add that balloon um, itself, this is one that will actually ask me uh, when I, how I want to display the rest of my balloons um, before I create my parts list. Another way about going about um, balloons um, is to do the auto balloon. Now, if I do an auto balloon, again, it'll um, ask me to select a view and then what type of bomb settings I want to use. And a nice little shortcut or trick here is um, a lot of people say add or remove components, and I always see you do a window or a crossing, or even, you know, the shift and select always works as well. But um, a nice little shortcut that I found is to actually to right-click um, and just do a select all if you want to select all your components. Then, as well as what you could do, is actually just right-click again and say continue, and it goes right to the placement function. So you can just quickly do your around, apply, and you're done. A couple other little tricks I'd like to show is um, how to manipulate or how to add um, if you wanted uh, multiple uh, balloons or multiple items uh, shown on that balloon. So in this case, what I'll do here is say, um, we'll edit this balloon, and we'll show it, uh, override it, and actually show it as a, uh, a line item. So it'll show this way. Now, if I were going to actually go ahead and attach another balloon, so I could go pick another item that I want to add there, uh, maybe a couple of items. Uh, notice that they'll uh, only select what is uh, properly um, in my structure, um, since whatever way I have this structured will show up in that uh, balloon segment, depending on what I pick. Okay, so. Um, the nice thing about this is, you know, you can't over balloon, which is good. And then another thing, um, as far as this doesn't look so good here, um, maybe I want to have this in a, in a linear scale rather than uh, vertical. So how do I move it or how do I adjust it? Um, the default is a vertical in 2009. So I can actually just grab that um, point snap and drag that over, uh, and then my balloons will be uh, cascaded next to one another. Another nice little shortcut for um, ballooning or caterpillaring balloons such as I did there, um, rather than going ahead and selecting items, um, I can right-click on the balloon itself, say attach balloon, um, and then actually go uh, select another item um, actually and, and place it. Or what I could do is um, from this item here, I can say attach balloon from a list. And what it will actually do is um, pop open the bill of materials, uh, that's from that list of that structured list and I could go ahead and select a couple other balloons and it'll go ahead and place those on there uh, for me as well. So hopefully you found a couple of these um, tips and tricks useful when uh, placing your balloons and uh, happy using Inventor.